Carefully. Let him down slowly now. He yet lives. Aye, and he's coming around. Ooh, oh. Radagast, are you well? Oh, what a thoroughly unpleasant experience. I shall have more pity for flies in the future. Can you tell us what happened? Sinathra snatched me. Took me unawares, I'm afraid. I really didn't expect to encounter anything of her sort in this corner of the wood. No, not at all. You see, I came here to get away from trouble. Darkness is spreading across Mirkwood. A darker than usual darkness, I mean. And it's coming from Dol Guldur in the south. Roscobel, my usual home, lies a little too close to Dol Guldur for comfort. So I came here. I have several such retreats. You can never be too prepared, living in Mirkwood and all. But, do I know you? No, Radagast, but you do know me. Ah, young Bellarum, it's a pleasure to see you. So you are a part of this little party too? <laughs> it's quite a mixed bag, really. I don't see elves, dwarves and men rubbing elbows often, especially not in Mirkwood. <laughs> now add an eagle as well. This is turning out to be a rather extraordinary day, really, all things considered. I am just glad we came in time. My friends and I have a mission, and we came seeking your aid. We're looking for the dragon Urgost, who lives in the Grey Mountains. And we have no time for a lengthy search. We were told you might be able to help us find him. You wish to find a dragon? Oh dear, is that really wise? Wise or not, that is our mission. Do you know where Urgos can be found? Well, he, he's a dragon, so I would say the Grey Mountains. I... yes, that is as we have already said. But do you know where in the Grey Mountains? I haven't the foggiest notion, really. What? So we've just been chasing the wind? Ah, uh, now, not so fast. I may not know where Urgos dwells, but I just might be able to find out. But I would need my staff for that, and I... I seem to have... We found your staff. Here it is. I knew you would have need of it once we found you. Ah, oh, excellent. Aren't you the clever one? <laughs> Crafty as a fox in your own fashion, too, I can tell. I'm grateful to you. Well then, let's see what we can find out, shall we? My friends might know a thing or two. news for me, little one? Ah. I see, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Very brave of you. Well done, my friend. And there you have it. Uh, perhaps you could explain further for those of us who do not speak the language of swallows. Oh, you don't? Quite a pity, really. They're rather pleasant little fellows. Always something nice to say. Well, what did this one have to say? Quite a bit, actually. Here, let me show you. Have you considered my offer? Possess man of his self. 
I will have your price soon enough. Think carefully before you spurn this offer, dragon. As mighty as you are, you would do well not to offend my master. I did not say I refused. Only that you must first achieve my reward before you can give it. Ah, formality. I go now to take your price, but I will leave men behind to await your answer. Consider well, but not too long. My time and my thoughts are my own to spend. For now. We are very close to the Dragon's Lair. We must now go more cautiously. If Orgos was to catch us airborne, he might lay us low with a single blast of Dragonfire. It is best you proceed on foot, while we shadow you from above. Agreed. We will proceed as swiftly as we may. Call if you have need of us! Let us hope dragons are less formidable than legend makes them. the Witch King long ago.
enemy, beware! 